Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, April 15th. It's an A day. I'm coming to you from the same spot I did yesterday, and I promise you guys know I'm a dork already. But I, I wanted just to explain something. You know, when I do this in my selfie mode here on my camera, um, on my phone, that do good things is backwards. Um, but when I saw the video yesterday, it was not backwards. So I appreciate the three or four of you that emailed in saying do good things is what it says there. Obviously, it says do good things. But today, I really like it because the sun's reflecting off my bald head and the do good is lighting up. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah well, well. Okay, so yesterday, some important things happened. Um, Governor Herbert came on and explained that. And Superintendent um, Sid Dixon from the state, um, they both announced that we're going to continue this at-home learning thing through the remainder of this um, school year. So, um, lots of questions, um, but it does give us some answers to some things. So um, we were working on graduation. We yesterday we met yesterday morning as high school principals trying to come up with a plan going forward with that um, before we knew what the governor's thing in the afternoon. So we have some ideas and we're working on that and we'll get that in place this next week or so and then we'll get that information to you. We've looked at op our different options, you know, maybe a virtual graduation or moving it back into June or July or even August if we have to. So we'll go through and um, the district, all the high schools will um, come up with the same idea and come up with a plan. We'll get that to you as soon as we can. I think this means the prom probably has been canceled. We had hoped to move it back to the end of May and um, that doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I'm sorry about that. Um, yearbooks, good question. Um, we're still working on that. I believe the yearbook printing um, place is, is down right now. They've furloughed their employees to try to stay home, stay safe thing. And so um, we don't know about yearbooks, but we'll get that information to you as soon as we can. Also, all the spring sports were officially canceled yesterday. And that breaks my heart for, for all of you seniors who've worked so hard to be able to do your final senior year, and, and it's, it's, it's just tough stuff. So hang in there. We'll get through this. Um, we'll make the best of it, and that's one thing that we're proud of here at Salem Hills High School is that we are resilient, and we will bounce back, and um, we'll keep working on the one of us stuff. And remember that um, we're all in this together and you're never really alone. So hang in there, some good things happening. Also with this though, it does make some, it give, bring some clarity for some things. So like cheer tryouts are gonna be next Thursday, I think. So um, Coach Pay has been sending out information. If you have any questions about that, contact her. I think that drill tryouts, there will get information out to you today on that. I'll visit with Mr. Van Leuven about um, student council elections. We'll come up with a plan for that in the next little bit too. So all of these things are coming into place. We'll work through it. Um, crazy times, holy cow. I've been in this for 35 years, never seen anything like this. But so, hey, we're making history. Today, happy birthday to Jason Clare, Isaac Polson, and Sam Sorensen. Happy birthday, it's a great day, have a birthday. Also, today is National Banana Day. Woohoo, <laughs> have a banana. Um, got some good dad jokes that I found some new ones, so let me, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, what do sprinters eat before a race? Nothing. They fast. <laughs> Why do you never see elephants hiding in trees? They're just really good at it. <laughs> and then this one I liked, I told my wife that she drew her eyebrows too high. She seemed surprised. <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah, you gotta love it. Hey, we got to make the best of this. Um, keep laughing, keep smiling. It does really do your body good. Great time to do your positive in the present. Today, more than ever, we need that positivity. So three things you're grateful for. One positive experience from the last 24 hours. Exercise, meditate, do your conscientious act of kindness. Really look for opportunities to help others. Yesterday, we talked about the helper idea. Um, be that person. Look, look for people to help, even if it's just in your family. Shoot a text off to somebody. It really does make a difference. So keep up the good work. Here's our quote for the day. Oh, and this would be for especially for you seniors who are struggling and do this. So the quote is this. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. Even though we're in times of challenge and, and questions and everything, keep doing it. Keep doing your stuff. Um, get your schoolwork done. Get ready to graduate. We'll get the. We'll make the best of this situation. So, hey, as always, you guys are amazing. Appreciate your support. I appreciate all the positive emails that I've gotten the last couple of days. Uh, yesterday was a hard day for me. I was, I was down. I mean, that was, 
Um, it was just a tough day. So I appreciate your kindness in sending me emails of encouragement. And we'll get through this. It's going to be a great opportunity for us to grow and stretch and become better people for it. So thanks again. As always, keep up the good work and go Skyhawks!